Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll assess the effectiveness of simulating an indent by tabbing over to a new column. On the Exercise 1 worksheet, we need to retrieve the report amounts from the data worksheet. Let's take a quick look at the data worksheet. The data is stored in a table named TBL underscore data. Please notice the account names in the table are not indented. Now, back on the exercise worksheet, we'll use a lookup function to retrieve the values. Equals VLOOKUP. We look up the account in the TBL underscore data table, return the value from the second column, and zero for exact match. Hit enter, and we look good. Now, we copy it down throughout the report. Payroll related expenses, and good. Marketing related, good. Other, good. Travel and entertainment, oops, the formulas are broken. F2 to edit, and ah, we see why. The lookup value is expected to be in D, but here, the lookup values are in E. As you can see, indenting by tabbing to the next column is not an effective approach. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll assess the effectiveness of simulating an indent by using leading spaces. Let's try to retrieve the values from the data table. Equals VLOOKUP, the account, in the TBL underscore data table, return the value from the second column, and zero for exact match. Oops, <laughs> this doesn't look good. If we look at the account cell, we'll see that it was indented with leading spaces. This value doesn't match the value in the data table, so the formula returns an error. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll assess the effectiveness of using the indent command. Equals VLOOKUP, the account, in the TBL underscore data table, return the value from the second column, and zero for exact match. Yes, that worked. If we look at the account here, we'll see it is indented, but there are no leading spaces since the indent command was used. This enables the lookup formula to make a match. Exercise 4. In this exercise, we'll retrieve the values from a report containing properly indented labels. Here, we need to retrieve values from the report. Let's start by trying to retrieve the values from the Exercise 1 sheet, the one that was indented with columns. Equals VLOOKUP, the account, in the Exercise 1 sheet, columns D through F, return the value in the third column, and zero for exact match. Hit enter and looks good. Fill the formula down and bummer. It doesn't work because not all lookup values appear in the D column. Some rows store the account in column E. Let's remove the formulas and try again. This time we'll try to retrieve the values from the exercise 2 sheet, the one that was indented with leading spaces equals VLOOKUP, the account, in the Exercise 2 sheet, columns B through C, return the value from the second column, and zero for exact match. Hmm, that didn't work. Let's remove the formula and try again. This time, let's retrieve the values from the Exercise 3 sheet, the one that was indented with the indent command, equals VLOOKUP, the account, in the Exercise 3 worksheet, columns B through C, return the value from the second column, and zero for exact match. Hit enter, and hey, it worked. Fill the formula down, and yes, we got it. Exercise 5. In this exercise, we'll indent a report and confirm that the lookup formulas continue to work as expected. Let's take a look at the lookup formula. We can see it is a VLOOKUP, that tries to look up the account from the data table. Now, let's indent the report. Home tab, increase indent icon, and done. The formula still works because we didn't change the stored value. We simply changed the displayed value. This is perfect since the VLOOKUP function operates on the stored value.
This video is a production of Clips and Sons.